I hate January. It's the worst month of the year. It's dark outside all the time, it's cold, it's grey, it's wet. None of us have any money and we're all still sad because Christmas is over. Not to mention the fact we all have to go back to work. If I could, I'd spend the whole of January here in my bed, watching movies, hiding and hoping that February will come sooner. And it's not just me who feels like this. The January blues is something that all of us experience. At Global Action Plan, we don't want people to feel sad. We don't want people to hide in bed all day feeling miserable. So I was asked to pull together a list of things that would make people feel better this January. After doing some research, I found that there's loads of links between nature, trees, green spaces and happiness. People who live in green spaces or near trees generally suffer less with depression, have better mental well-being and higher self-esteem. So equipped with the knowledge that nature is apparently the cure to all of our sadness, I've pulled together a list of 10 things we can do in and around towns and cities across the UK to make us get outdoors, get active and feel happy. But I didn't want to just want to write a list and tell you guys to go do stuff. I wanted to make sure that I knew it would work. So this week I've been out and about trying and testing some of my tips. So here you are, here are my tips on how to get outdoors, get active and be happy this January and this year. <laughs> Explore urban nature. Find hidden spots within your city or town. If you live in a big town or city like London, it's easy to feel like there's no green spaces and no nature for you to enjoy. But that's not the case. All across towns and cities there are hidden green spaces. At the end of the central line, Epping Forest has acres of ancient woodland for you to explore on over 40 walks. It's green, there's trees, I can hear the birds and the air is fresh. I feel happier already. Get green fingers. Grow your own fruit and vegetables. Loads of studies link gardening with improved mental health. With garden space so limited here in London, I called a friend and offered a helping hand on their allotment. I dug, I got muddy, and I found some artichokes. It was such a fun morning, I got quite a bit of exercise, and I'm about to make my first batch of artichoke soup. Make a splash. Go for a wild swim. It might be a bit chilly to go for a swim in there in January, but if you are feeling grey, there are loads of places you can go for a wild swim and enjoy the exercise benefits of swimming and the beauty of nature. From lidos to ponds to lakes to rivers, there's tons to do, and it's all just a Google search away. Escape the city. Visit a national park. If you want to escape the hustle and bustle of the city and get out in the real countryside with loads of fresh air, there's loads of national parks and national trust sites you can visit across the UK. Today, I've come just an hour outside of London to Box Hill in Surrey to go for a lovely walk and enjoy these spectacular views. To find your nearest national park or national trust site, just go on the National Trust website. Go on a treasure hunt. Try geocaching. Geocaching is like a giant treasure hunt and not just for kids. You download an app onto your phone and using GPS you can find all the nearby geocaches. It's then down to you to follow the map, use the compass, read the clues and find the treasure. Embarrassingly, despite my geography degree, I failed to find my geocache, but I certainly had fun trying. Maybe you'll do a better job than me. After spending my week trying out all of our tips on how you can get outdoors and be happier this January, my one personal top tip for you all would be that all these things are so much better if you do them with your friends. That's it from me. If you want to read more about what you can do to get outdoors and be happier this year, click the link below to read my blog with lots of tips. And please don't forget to click subscribe to hear more.